fooled ya! I made you think that my microphone wasn't working or whatever, this is a dud part. Ha ha! Anyway, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon White. It's time to kill a Watchhog with Wedge. Yeah! Anyway, so, uh, yeah, wow, that's gonna do nothing. Wow, that crunch did nothing, and Rocky Helmet damage! And Brick Break damage! And Watchhog is dead, yeah, go back to Russia, Alexander. And a Scraggy, nice. Alright, so in the last episode, we just went to the cold storage, you know, just sort of... Four bunch of trainers and stuff, and found an ice cream. I will karate chop your wedgie back down to what it originally was, Scraggy. There's only one guy who's allowed to have a Scraggy, and that's me. Long live Team Plasma! No, definitely not. The Pokemon that work with people may look like they're having fun, but in truth they're suffering. There's no doubt about it. Of course. For this group, I'm pretty strong. I hope you know that. You're going to lose. You're going to lose. You're going to fail badly. Uh, you have a Lipard. Something else that's weak to Wedge. I've got no problem with Wedge just kicking ass here, so I'm perfectly fine with that. And yep, I knew the fake out was coming, but I'm so happy that I misclicked into chip away instead of brick break. Alright, so the pursuit does nothing, the fake out did more than that, and Rocky Helmet is doing more damage than your attacks, Lipards. <laughs> that must be incredibly frustrating for you. Great plans are always interrupted. Yes, I know, but great plans that work don't get interrupted for very long. What about you? In my own way, I'm a strong part of Team Plasma's group. As in, if Getsis was to fight alongside you, possibly. Anyway, so, uh, another Grunt has a Trubish. Finally, something that could actually stand a chance against Wedge. I say might. Probably not. Uh, Payback, I think. Ah, I'm quicker. Maybe chip away then, I don't know. Anyway, payback is going to do a fair amount of damage. Oh, he goes for the stockpile. Not nice. Stockpile is a move that actually destroyed my team in a Wi-Fi battle I did once. It was a Hippowdon stockpile. And what it does is, like Workup, only increases attack and defense. Or it increases defense and special defense. Which is why I use Chip Away, because that don't matter with Chip Away. Anyway, level 29 for Wedge, not bad. If you learn your lesson now, I'm such a sore loser. Ah, <sighs> stop losing then. Alright, well, since Wedge is level 29, I'm gonna switch. Um, let's bring Griffith in now. I believe level 28, Griffith needs some experience. Last one. I'm one of the tougher members of Team Plasma here. Let's see how tough you really are, shall we? I'm guessing, not much. You have two Pokemon. Your first Pokemon is a Sandile. Not bad, not bad. Level 23. I'm gonna bring Griffith. Yes! It's a Moxie one, not an Intimidate one. That's actually quite useful. I'm gonna do for the Home Claws here, increase my attack and accuracy. Just in case he seems to want to go for the Sanity. Ooh, Embargo! Alright, I can't use items. That's fine. Embargo is not the toughest of moves to go against. Pretty much that means that I can't use any items on Griffith for the remainder of the battle that it's in. Yeah, and I knew it's got. Sandile's got things like Mud Slap, so. With Hone Claws, I'm actually increasing my accuracy as well, so I should have plus one in accuracy now. While Mud Slap probably would have been quite annoying, but no. Spurious, that means now my digs are always going to hit and do loads of damage and kill off Sandile. Next up, Watchhog. Alright, not bad. You say you're one of the tougher members. I don't see it for the life of me at the moment. So I've got plus two attack. I can use items again. Like I was going to, but never mind. Dig is going to kill him in one hit. There you go. Now, just think how much power Griffith would have if it wasn't modest natured. Honestly. We win! Oh, and it's Clay and a bunch of his goons. Well, I'll be. Hiding in a chilly old place like this. Why have I made him Irish? Was that Scott? No, that's Irish, isn't it? I don't know. I can't remember. You guys take these Pokemon rubbers. Roger! Let's go kick their ass! Yeah! You're all gonna die. Come on! 
Yeah, and one worker just takes out like a bunch of them. Eek! Yep, and there's you. And oh, that guy took three! Monster the years! And the seven sages also went as well. And you know what's gonna happen off screen? They're gonna get a beating. You guys ain't so bad. Yup, a promise is a promise. Come on, challenge me, Jim. Alright. Whatever, Team Plasma's ideal. Separating people and Pokemon, that's exactly the same as not having Pokemon in this world at all. That bunch is a waste of oxygen. A bit like you, Charon. It's cold, so I'm getting out of here. I am recording, good. Sorry about that. I just had a bit of paranoia there going, am I recording? Yes. Good. Alright, so to get out of here in sort of an easy way, just go up here. Go across here. Get this item. A netball. Obviously, you couldn't just, like, trick it and go the other way because there is actually no way for you to get round, as you can see, the other way. So, yeah. Anyway, we've got ourselves a netball. Not bad. Not bad at all. And now it's time to go and challenge our fifth Pokemon gym. Clay's gym. I gotta try and find... Ooh. Hidden item. There it is. Ooh, Hyper Potion! That's quite a good item, actually. Nice. Do you battle? I've probably already battled. Yeah, I've already battled you. Alright, forget it then. Alright, so back to uh, back to Driftvale. We're going to heal! If we can sell beefcake, I can't get through the door! Right. So let's uh, heal up. Okay, so. I think I remember what Clay's got. If he's got what I think he's got, I think we might be okay here. Mostly Kai, Griffith, and Wedge are going to be useful here. I believe. Mostly Kai, though. If it's what I think. Which I hope it is. Anyway, his gym is just here, I believe. So, let's challenge the gym. That's not his gym. Wrong place. My mistake. Let's try and find the actual gym. Maybe it's over here. Ah, here we go. No, no, that's not. There it is. Between the two. There it is. Sharon's already there. We're some Team Plasma people. Ah, Getsis again. Clay, it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Getsis of Team Plasma. I've come to pick up my associates who are in your care. I don't need no thanks now. Your buddies were trying to steal some folks' Pokemon. What's this? It seems as if there has been some misunderstanding. We only free Pokemon from wicked people. Well, that sounds real nice if it's true. May I not talk pertly? But at least I am an honest man. You talk real nice, but what you're saying sounds kinda... kinda sounds like lying. So tell me plain, what are you trying to say? He has gone completely Scottish. <laughs> Alright, Clay Scottish in this game. I'm going with that. Team Plasma also has an interest in Driftville City. And we have many, many more members besides those you have here. Well, I can't tell if you're lying or not, but I reckon you won this without a fight. <sighs> Fine, take him and take him and get. <laughs> I thought he said take him and get, I thought. Git? Don't call him a git. He's an asshole. A decision worthy of a businessman called the Miner King. You're the king of miners. So why didn't you help the Chilean ones about five years ago, you bastard? Your grasp of the situation is outstanding. Well then, we will be taking our colleagues off your hands. Yay! Getsis, thank you very much. Don't worry, my fellow servant of the king. We are two of the Seven Sages, are we not? Well then, everyone, I expect that we will meet again somewhere. And they bugger off. Sorry to let Team Plasma go after you tracked them down, fellas. Say, so why don't you cheer yourselves up with Pokemon Battle? Don't keep me waiting. Alright, Clay, I won't keep you waiting. Well, we avoid a fight in the middle of the city anyway. Still, I can't help but think that Getsis isn't just an ordinary person. I want to go make my Pokemon stronger. I really don't want to lose that clay guy. 
Actually, I'm gonna win my gym badge in a flawless victory. Flawless victory, and then you lose, hopefully. All right, well, I'm gonna go challenge the gym so I can get the badge before Charon does. Woohoo! What's up, buddy? I'm sure it was tough dealing with all that, r all that right after you arrived here. For now, I'll just give you this. Fresh water! Thank you. The gym leader, Clay, uses ground-type Pokemon. Well, just between you and me, ground-type Pokemon aren't good against water-type attacks. Kind of makes me wonder why Clay's living next to water. Interesting, yeah. Anyway, so that pretty much means Kai is going to be our option here. Uh, so Kai is an option. It's also got Grass Knot, which is going to work against the heavier opponents. Wedge isn't bad against Rock types, and neither is Griffith. So we do have some options here. Envy is not going to be very useful at all. What we've got to do, we've got to press this button to go down. And then this place becomes a gigantic maze after that. As you can see, there are cones. There are traffic cones that we can't just, like, pick up and move away. Damn you, traffic cones! Why do you have to get in the way of me? Alright. What's up? Okay, challenger, bring it on. Okay, you minor person. Typical. Miners, and they're all underground. Worker Felix has got himself a Pulpitoad. Nice. Uh, Griffith. The problem is I, don't, I think Griffith will probably die to the first water move. Level 28. This Pulpitoad is level 28. Also, that uproar did a lot of damage. I'm not happy with the amount of damage that uproar did. Alright, so... Uproar, nice moving whatever that pretty much means no one can fall asleep. Which is fine by me. Because sleep is probably the second most annoying thing after... Well, third most annoying thing after confusion and paralysis. And that's not going to kill it. So I have to now switch out, probably. Actually, screw it. Griffith, just go for it. Go for it. Muddy water. Damn it. And I made a mistake and Griffith dies for it. God damn it, Griffith. And that critical hit really didn't mean it. Mean anything either. Right, Kai. You're up. Since this thing is ground and water, it's four times a week. Yeah, Aqua Ring is not gonna help you, buddy. Not against Grass Knot. Grass Knot to the face. And you're dead, Palpatode. Lots of experience. Wow, level 29. Nice. So Kai is level 29. Not bad at all. Next up is a Drillber. And I'll just stay in here. Little mole guy. I'm going to go for another grass knot, I think. How am I quicker than a Drillba? Drillbas are really quick. Anyway, it didn't do much damage because Drillbas aren't really exactly heavy. So now we're going to try off Water Pulse. Yeah! Lots more damage! And Drillba dies. Not bad. Felix defeated? But, there, but then, but I lost. You did lose. Ha ha. Let's go down. Going down again. Now we gotta go up. Take on this guy. Hello. How are you doing today? I'm doing swell. When the elevator goes up, my spirits rise. When the elevator goes down, my spirits fall. If you wanna know why Clay's at the bottom, defeat me. Is it because he's a manic depressive? Well, if, you, if your spirits go high, but then your spirits go low when the elevator goes lower and he's at the bottom. Yeah, he's depressed to crud. You should really talk to him a few times. Alright, so I have the complete worst Pokemon for this situation. Sandile being dark and ground type really doesn't help when I've only got Envy. So, uh, Wedge. Might as well come out here. Come out, Wedge. At least Envy took the Intimidate. I'll take that. And I actually went into the best Pokemon. As he goes for the Crunch. And my Rocky Helmet does more damage than your Crunch. Swagger, get off me. I do not move like Jagger, damn it. Go away. Alright, so experience for Wedge, experience for Envy. Next up is a Drillba. I'm going to switch to Envy here. See what he can do. At least I think Envy's a dude. Yeah, he's a male. Alright, Envy is a male. Little jelly guy. I'm gonna go for the Psy Shock here. Oh, he's quicker than me, he goes for the Slash. Ow! That hurt a bit. It's like having a bottle done a shot to the face. Eh? Yeah. Oh, God, Metal Claw. Oh, lived it! Psy Shock! 
And we win! We beat Drilba. Nice. And nice experience for Envy there. I lost. Then my spirits go down! Oh, yeah, 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 your spirits go down. Yeah, well, your spirits are about to go even further down. Down! Going down. Idiots. Alright, let's go this way now. Talk to this guy. Hello! How are you doing today? My name is Master. How are you? I face my Pokemon. And we share our real feelings. Sometimes that's what I do in this Pokemon gym. Wow! Therapeutic guy in a gym with a sort of Scottish guy being the, being the, being the main guy, you know. Right, so he's got himself a Crocorock, which is level 29. That's tough. It's the evolved form of Sandile. Uh, and I'm probably going to go into Wedge here, because I'm going to predict the Dark type attack. If it goes for something like the Mud Slap, I'm in trouble. Oh, it goes Swagger. All right. That is not so good, but Shed Skin doesn't work on that, does it? Damn it! I thought Shed Skin would have worked on it. Now the Mud Slap. All right, I saw the Mud Slap coming. Because of the whole accuracy problem bullshit. Yes! And I still get the Brick Break off. You are dead, Crocorock. Plus two attack, thanks to you. Experience for Wedge and Envy grew level 29. Nice, Worker Don defeated. Right now my Pokemon and I both feel the sting of defeat. Oh, and doesn't that sting. Alright, so this has to go down. Going down again, as bloody usual. Let's go up now. Oh god! I think I picked the wrong one, possibly. I don't know. I received intense training from Clay. No trainer around here is out of my league. Does that include Clay? If that's the case, then I might be in some trouble here. Might be in a bit of trouble. This is Clerk, male, Isaac, has a sand dial. Okay. Level 27. Ooh, that's a. T All right, I was not expecting that high of a level. There's the Intimidate. Like that matters to Envy. To be honest, it really doesn't. Miles going to Kai here. I'm still going to predict probably the Crunch, but probably Kai needs some experience. Oh, the Assurance! Alright. Well, that... It probably would have been better if I had switched into, uh... Into Griffith. Not Griffith, uh, Wedge, but never mind. And anyway, one Razor Shell is gonna be enough with a critical to beat Sandile. More experience for Envy. Next up is a Palpitoad. Gonna stay in here. Because Palpitoad is weak to Grass Knot... Ooh, it's quicker. Goes for the Bubble Beam. Not bad. Alright, Grass Knot. And it one-hits the Palpitoad. Nice. Lots of experience for me there. And last up is another Sandile. Yeah, Envy is not going to be able to do well against any Sandile. And last but not least, let's go for the Water Pulse. Yeah! Dead Sandile. Not bad, not bad. And Kai's very close, level 30. Oh no, I found someone out of my league. Yes, you have. All right, we gotta go down. Let's try this one here. Oh, it goes up two. That's new. Then up. No, where that sends me back here. No, I don't want to go there. Go back down. Bugger hole. All right, so what we gotta do now? Down. Up. That's not it. So down again. Oh, I think I know where I need to go, actually. We gotta go round. I believe. Then we go down. Then up. Then we go this way. There you go, found it. A woman? What's a woman doing here? Clay's at the bottom of the gym. But I will test you to see if you're whether you're skilled enough to face the gym leader. All right. Well, with a place full of miners, I didn't expect just a random, you know, you to come along. Anyway, you have a Drillba. Level twenty nine. All right. <laughs> it's a bit a bit scary. I'm gonna predict. Well, I'm gonna hope that you don't kill me off, and I go for the recover. Yes. Ha <laughs> ha. Home claws. That was very well played on my part, actually. Because you have the home claws and I go for the recover to get my health back. Health! Yes, we're up to the 50 health again. 
Now Psy Shock. Oh, Rock Slide. Not nice. Ow, one health. He lives it with one health. Screw you, Drillbur. Oh, then you live with like one health. No. What was that? Fine. Wedge is going to finish him off then, it looks like. Come on out, Wedge. If he seriously goes to the home claws here or something. No, he goes to the dig. I probably wouldn't have been able to sort that, to be honest. Bro, I'm always going for the workup while he's underground. Oh, damn it. No, he's quicker than me. Of course he is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and he's going to die with the Rocky Helmet. Ha <laughs> ha! Rocky Helmet win. A win with Rocky Helmet. Ah, so frustrating. Maybe I'm not skilled enough. Maybe you're not. All right. Well, let's see what's going down here. Oh, this is quite far down. Wow, how far down is this? Very far down, apparently. All right. This is cool. There he is. There's Clay. Does he have to go through all this crap, or does he get, like, his own sort of gym leader thingy? Anyway, I'm going to go and heal up my Pokemon, and I'm going to go for a break here. But the next episode, let's play Pokemon White. We're going to battle against Clay, and Clay's going to get his arse kicked. Fergus! Anyway, I'll see you then.